MGM London Comic Con. It's the UK's biggest show about anime, games, comics, movies, films, games. Did I say that already? There's over 130,000 people over the weekend. So I'm going to show you a bit of what's around the show and a bit of what it's like being on my store for the weekend. Here it is, Pixie Pieces. Here's a map of the whole con. It's good they've been putting a bit more information up on the signs around. And you can see the show is so big now. Where are we? Right up there. Just here on the end of the road, they've got the schedule for the stages. And you can also find that on the website and in the app. Oh, it's It's an exciting morning, Paige has come along and she's got the Cakes of Faces tattoo that I designed and it's the first time I've seen it in real life. It looks amazing and so colourful. Yeah, it took about two hours to get tattooed but I love it, it's the best thing ever. <laughs> Thank you. And you've got your magical Kyoto. Yeah, and my earrings and the jacket. <laughs> All Cakes of Faces. Yay! <laughs> Just been having a look around and checking out some of the anime figures and if you've been to Japan you notice a big difference in the prices here compared to in Japan which you would expect them to be a little bit more here because someone's importing them and paying all the import taxes and things and obviously these stores have got to make a profit to keep going but they are so much more expensive here than in Japan. I saw a figure that I bought for about a thousand or fifteen hundred yen for two figures. I saw just one of them for 75 pounds so much. I also saw the full set of K-On London figures. You know I love K-On. It was the full set of six figures for £199 and we bought them all in Japan for about 800 to 1,000 yen each. So they were really cheap. That would make them about £7 each. So the full set would be about £42 and here it's £199. Before I went to Japan, I thought that was the normal price for figures and I thought they were always about £35 upwards. Um, and it wasn't until I actually went to Japan that I realized they are so much cheaper there. There are some that that's not the case though, like uh, Good Smile are here. And their figures are expensive figures wherever you buy them. Good that they're really high quality. Mm -hmm. on, at least the ones I've seen are high quality. Yeah. So, I mean, they're like 50, 60, 70 pound anyway. And I don't think that's uh, got any tax on it for being over here. I think they're just expensive figures and probably worth it. They are high thing. quality and really well made. Yeah, it's just the other ones, like especially the old claw machine ones that you can get um, in a keeper and stuff for, like, say, a thousand yen. Yeah, they're the. Um, um, the prizes you get from the UFO catches, you can buy them separately, and that's what a lot of the figures are, that you see are. Yeah, that's what we get because we can't win them. <laughs> if there's one you really want, just try and understand what's a reasonable price before you come here. It's Saturday morning, and Saturday's always the busiest day. And this morning I was feeling really tired and I wasn't really feeling it until someone came up to the store and said how much they like my videos and when they watch my video about um, MCM Comic Con it always makes them really excited for the show and that just reminded me why I do all of this and it's always really great to see all you guys here. This is Ash and she's brought me this print that she drew. Really cool. What are you going to do next Comic Con? Ah, I'm hoping to do a Voltron cosplay next Comic Con but if I don't do that, I'm probably just end up doing like another character. But I'm hoping to have an art stall open by then, so I'll probably be cosplaying and doing an art stall at the same time. You're going to be in the comic village? Yeah, I'll be in the comic village. We'll see you there next time. Yeah, see you guys next time. My name's Megan Devine. And it's your first time at Comic Con. Yeah, no, for What sure. do you think so far? I'm having a lot of fun. There's so many different things. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where to go. I know, it's massive. <laughs> um, and what are you most excited about? Uh, Critical Role. I came all the way to come and see them. Oh, I think a lot of people are excited yes. about them today. I've seen them uh, cosplayers everywhere for them and it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> today I'm wearing my new Hawaii Hawaiian Hawaiian dress, which is a new design this weekend. This is 
my new hedgehog scarf, which was a lot more popular than I expected in the pre-order. So I've actually sold out, but there are more on the way, so I'm taking orders for that this weekend. My new t-shirt design is Winosaurs, vintage 150 million years BC. busy on Saturday and then I don't have time to eat because <laughs> there's too many people at the store. Not that I'm complaining about that. I've got a jacket potato. Food at XL is really expensive and I think the jacket potatoes are not bad value compared to everything else. Look, Noah's brought me this picture with Starry Night and all the cakes with faces. Is it your first time at Comic Con? Yeah, okay. this is my first time. Oh wow, actually. what do you think so far? Uh, it's been amazing, it's so fun. What are you looking forward to doing the most? Uh, I don't know, everything. <laughs> With her stall, uh, tell me about your stall. So um, I've got the Overwatch embroidered patch uh, patches, and also like, the newest ones this year is I've started digitally uh, drawing stuff in, on my new tablet. So I've got a sticker print over there, so that's the newest one, and also completed the evolutions finally for the bows. That's it really. I haven't done much uh, kind of a new collection this year, but next year definitely. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and you have a YouTube channel as well? Yes I do, um, I'm Pixie Late or Pixie underscore late, like as in late to school tardiness instead of latte, because a lot of people miss Pixie latte. Yeah, people do that, hi Pixie latte. <laughs> late. <laughs> have you got any more plans for Cosplay Kitchen? Yes actually, um, I've stopped uh, the cosplay kitchen, well I did a little pause during summer just because it got really hot and I just don't want to be cooking all day, perfecting a recipe and when it's just too hot. So now that it's got a lot colder, definitely there's going to be something in the works, something bear related. Ooh, <laughs> And now I feel really bad when people keep asking for them and I don't have any left. But I am taking orders and they will be back. Uh, I like cats. <laughs> um, how's it? It's your first time at Comic Con. Yeah. Um, how's it going? It's been good. I'm loving it. I'm loving all the Disney cosplay. Oh yeah, to, I love this one. Get as many pictures as possible. It's been good. <laughs> <laughs> um, and what's your favourite sort of cat? Favourite sort of cat? Um, I love black cats, like Salem from Sabrina. Um, I've always wanted a white cat. All cats. <laughs> 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 that was such a bad answer. <laughs> I like all cats. <laughs> I like, yeah, all cats. <laughs> all Halloween, ghost cat. <laughs> a cat. <laughs> I'm going over to have a look in the South Hall, which is actually the first time I've been over here. When I'm at Comic Con, I'm always so busy on the stall, I don't get to look around a lot of it. and she's brought me this picture and it's really cool. Hello. <laughs> uh, tell me about your cosplay today. Um, I'm Nagi Sashiota from Assassination Classroom. Yeah. <laughs> it's snack time, we've got pumpkin karaoke. Smells really good. If you've never had them, they taste really sweet. And this sauce is kind of um, like a ketchup Worcester sauce mixture. It's quite a sweet sort of. Yeah, it's bulldog sauce. I don't, don't, don't ask me. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Classic film food review there.
Good morning Sunday! Now if you want to come to Comic Con and have the whole place basically to yourself, try and get here for 9 o'clock on a Sunday morning because there's not many people here. Look how empty it is! Look, next door to us, this stall sort of hasn't turned up and it's been taken over by the V&A who've got an exhibition about video games. Video games, design, play, disrupt. It's on until the 24th of February. my store I have these takeaway menus with my website and my channel and pictures of my designs and things and this time in my box of takeaway menus there's an actual menu what is this imposter cafe amaranth it's a real menu for a Thai restaurant mm. tom yum noodle soup Next door to us is a sort of general anime merch store and they had a load of anime wall scrolls up along the back wall and I saw they were being made to take them down and they weren't allowed to sell them which I'm guessing is because they were fakes or unlicensed merchandise and you know I hate seeing fake goods around con and stores trying to rip people off so it's really good actually they're trying to do something to stop it. They just did the announcements to tell everyone to get out and there's still quite a few people here. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the video. Sorry I didn't get to film as much as I wanted to. That happens every time when it gets busy on the store. But everything you can see on my store, all my designs, you can get them from my website cakesofaces.co.uk or cakesofaces on Etsy. And if this is the first of my videos you've watched, normally I make videos about Japan, they're all on my channel. New videos every Thursday and I'll see you soon. Bye bye!